G'day guys, Tazbet here with another brand new roulette strategy for you. Now this strategy was published by authors Andrew Deverell and Greg Fletcher in their book, The Dominator Roulette Strategy. Now in the book, the authors claim that this roulette strategy is so successful that anyone is able to pull out jackpot like winnings from any type of roulette. In fact, this strategy makes some extremely bold claims, claiming that it can beat both American and European roulette wheels. The book claims to give the player a complete guide to turn their first $20 into $100,000 in just one month. It even claims that winning at online roulette is so easy that it's just like having your own personal ATM. Now, as someone who's investigated hundreds of roulette strategies, I was extremely dubious of these claims and decided to investigate them for myself. So, in order to execute this strategy properly, there are five things that you need to know. The bet pattern strategy, the outcome-based betting strategy, the house vidge neutralizer bet, bet register, and money management rules. First up is the bet pattern strategy. This is how we're actually going to decide where we place each one of our bets. To do this, we're gonna be using information from the previous spin so that we can work out where we place our bet next. To do this, we're gonna begin by placing on the same color as the previous spin. So if the previous spin was red, then we're gonna place our next bet on red as well. Now, if you bet on the same and it wins, we continue betting on the same until we get a loss. Now, when it does lose, we swap our bet from same to betting opposite, so that if it come up black, we would bet the opposite, which would be red. If we manage to win while betting on the opposites, we continue betting opposites until we get a loss. If we lose, we're gonna stay betting opposites for a total of three losses. Now, if we come up to three losses betting on our opposite colors, what we're going to do is we're going to switch back to betting on the same colors and keep doing that until we get another loss and then swap back to opposite. And we're just gonna keep alternating between these two modes during the entire duration of play. The second part of this strategy is the outcome-based betting strategy. What this means is that we're gonna make sure whenever we place a bet, we have a certain outcome in mind every time that we play a game. Now I'll get into it a little bit later when we get into the bet registry, but all you need to know for now is that every time we play a game, we're always aiming to win a certain amount. Additionally, this part of the strategy comes with an extra rule. And what we do is whenever we start betting, we're always going to begin by placing imaginary bets. That means that we actually don't place any money on red or black. We just keep track of where we would place our bet and if it would have won or not. If our imaginary bet does win, we then swap to starting to place our real money bets. And if one of our real money bets lose, we swap back to our imaginary bets. This way we can avoid the huge losing streaks and the mathematical improbabilities that would otherwise ruin your bankroll. Part number three of this strategy is the house vidge neutralizer bet. Now, if you've played any roulette strategy before, you'll know most of them don't account for the zero or the double zero on American roulette. This part of the strategy aims to always place a bet on zero that's equal to one fifth your base unit or two fifths your base unit in American roulette on the zero or double zero split. Now we increase this bet amount as we go through our games and as our losses increase. This way we can always be sure to recoup any losses that we've suffered so far if a zero does occur. Now I'll get into the maths of deciding how much you should actually bet onto the zero in just a second, but all you need to know is that no matter if we're placing imaginary bets or real money bets, we will always be placing a bet on the zero or double zero split regardless. This way that if a zero comes up at any point, we can be sure to take winnings from it. Part four is the bet registry. Now the bet registry is actually where we keep track of all of our current bets, all of our winnings and all of our losses. This way we can ensure that we're always winning the predetermined amount that we're aiming for at the start of the game. For example, if we wanted to win $5 from our game, we start our bet registry by writing down the number five. So to place our first bet, we look in the bet registry and we can see we've got a five. So we would place a five unit bet on red or black according to our previous strategy. Not only do we have this five units on red or black, we'll also have one fifth of that on the zero for the house vidge neutralizer bet. So in total, we'll be betting six units. Now, if we manage to lose this six unit bet, what we're going to do is we're actually gonna take this number six and we're gonna add it to our bet registry like so. On the next bet, what we're going to do is we're gonna take the first and the last numbers on our bet registry, add them together, and then that is how much we're going to bet on either red or black on the next stage. 
So for this example, we have a five and a six. So that would mean we add them together, we get 11, and we would place an 11 unit bet on red or black, plus our house vig neutralizer bet. If we managed to lose this bet as well, we would take the 11 unit bet, add it with our one unit house vig bet, and then add 12 to our bet registry like this. So that would mean our next bet would be 12 plus five or 17. So in order to avoid these bets spiraling out of control and just getting larger and larger and larger, what we're gonna do is we're also going to set a bet registry limit. So for example, if we had 17 that we needed to add to our bet registry, instead of writing that down, we could add 10 and seven to our registry separately. If we manage to win the bet that we place, we can actually cross off the two numbers that were used to make up that bet. Now the theory behind this strategy is that if we're going to win about half the time and lose about half the time, and every time we lose we're only adding one number, but every time we win we're removing two numbers, that eventually we will work the list down and eventually clear it out completely. Once you've managed to clear this list completely, that's the end of the round, or the coup as the book calls it, and that's when you would start your next round. Now at any point you can also just rearrange the bets in the bet registry, as long as they all all add up to the same number that they were at before. And if the bet that you've placed on zero manages to win, what you'll do is you'll work out how much profit you've received from that bet and then just go through your bet registry and remove that amount from it. The last part of this strategy is what the book calls money management strategy. This part outlines how much money you should have available for your total bankroll, how much you should spend on each game and setting loss limits. In the book, they recommend that your game bankroll should be at least 20 times your base unit bet. Additionally, your loss limit should be equal to your game bankroll, and you should also have three times your game bankroll in total bankroll. That way, if you manage to lose one game, you've still got two more games where you can recoup your losses. Now, I know that this is a lot to take on all at once, but it's really not as complicated as it's made out to be. So as always, I'm gonna show you this strategy in action, and hopefully it'll help you guys understand it just a little bit better. Like I said earlier, this strategy works for American and European roulette wheels, but I personally prefer European, so that's what I'm gonna be trying it on today. Additionally, since this strategy does require a little bit extra work in order to execute properly, I find it easier to do at online casinos. That way I can play and do the spins at my own pace. Pretty much every online casino will work for this strategy, but I have heard of a few shady sites out there that don't like to pay out if you start winning a heap. So if you are looking for a list of good, reliable casinos that I've used in the past and I can vouch for, then I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. Now, before I show you guys this strategy, it's important that I mention that this video is for educational purposes only. I do not promote nor advocate any real money gambling or betting. It's important to know that there's no magic trick or strategy that'll suddenly let you start winning thousands overnight. No matter what strategy you're using, the casinos will always have an house edge. The goal of any strategy is to try and play for as little time as possible, get a few wins, and get out before the casino can catch up to you. All right, with that out of the way, let's get straight into it. Time to show you guys this strategy in action. So you can see down here, I've got a balance of $100. Now, because the book recommends that your game bankroll should be 20 times whatever your base unit bet is, I'm gonna make my base unit $5. So that means, you know, that we've got 20 times and we can actually play 20 games before we actually lose. So what we're gonna do is start our bet registry with whatever our base unit is, so five. Now the goal of this round is to win a five unit profit total. Once we manage to do that, we can complete this round and go on to the next. So what we do is we begin by placing our house vig neutralizer bet. So for me, that's gonna be a one unit bet on zero. We're always placing this no matter if we're doing imaginary or real money bets. So next, we're gonna start betting on the same color as the last spin. So we can have a look, the last was 14. So that means we're gonna bet on red. Now we're not actually gonna place a real money bet, we're gonna start with imaginary bets. So we're gonna watch, we're gonna spin here, and if red wins, then we can start our betting. So it didn't win, that's okay. So we gotta to go to our bet registry though, and we do have to note down that one unit loss that was on our house vig neutralizer bet. Now, it's preference of mine rather than to have, you know, lots of ones or twos in your bet registry. What I'll do is I'll remove this five and the one and I'll just make that into a six because it's easier to keep track of and there's less numbers that way. 
So now we have six in our bet registry. We're gonna do again, because we didn't win, we're gonna stay with our imaginary bets. Now, same loss last time, so now we're actually gonna go with opposite. So because it was black last time, we place our imaginary bet on red. And we're gonna spin now. And now if red wins again, then we can place our, there we go. Now we can place a real money bet on opposite. So we gotta make sure we note down this, this house vintage bet that we lost. So I'm just gonna include one to there, to the seven. So we're gonna place another house vintage bet. And now because we're ready to start, we can place a bet on opposite. So we're gonna look at our registry. It's seven, so we're gonna place a seven unit bet on red. If we're lucky, we'll manage to win this first spin and finish the round straight away. Unfortunately, we didn't. So what this means is now we're gonna take that seven unit bet plus the one dollar one unit that was on our house vidge bet, and we're gonna add that to our bet registry. So we get eight. So now we have this seven, eight. So we've lost. We're gonna go back to doing our imaginary bets on opposite. So I put a one unit bet on, on the zero for our house vidge bet. We're gonna look at this 29, we're going opposite, so imaginary bet on red. We spin again and we watch the red. And we don't get it, and that's okay. So we add the one, that was our house vidge. I'm just gonna make both of these eight. It doesn't really matter, but we place another one. We're looking at opposites again, so now we're looking for a red. If it hits red, then we'll start betting opposites. It has hit red, so now I'm just gonna add this nine here. So that was our loss from the house vidge last time. We place our house vidge this time. And now what we do to decide our next bet, we take the first and the last numbers that are in our bet registry. So you can see here, this is eight and nine because it's the only two numbers in our bet registry. So adding them together, we have a total of a $17 bet. So we're going with opposites. We got the red, opposite of red is black. So I'm gonna place 17 units on red. So 15, 16, 17. Now, we gotta place our house vidge bet because I accidentally deleted it. Cross our fingers, hopefully we hit black. Ah, unfortunately we don't. So we've lost 18 there. So now we can chuck 18 in. Now you can see that as we lose, our bet amounts are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Now if you want to keep this smaller, rather than writing 18, you could write 10 and 8, but that means you're going to have to win an extra game in order to completely clear out this list. So I'm going to leave it at 18 at the moment because I think I'm going to set my bet registry limit to 20. So if I lose again and it goes above 20, then I'm going to start splitting it up. So we swap back to imaginary bets. We're going to chuck our $1 house vidge bet. Let me just double check this. I believe we're still in that $35 range, so I could I could be placing a $2 one. I'm going to place two if we lose this next one. So we've got a three. Because we've lost on opposites, we're swapping back to same. So we're on red. Imaginary bet on red. We're going to watch and see how we go. And we don't get it, so that's fine. We're going to swap back to opposites. We've got to note down that one house vidge, so I'm going to chuck it on this one here to make a nine. One house vidge, we're going opposite, so we're looking for a red. And we'll see how we go. Give us a red so we can start. There we go, there's a red. So we add that one here. I'm just going to chuck it in there. So we're making sure we're keeping track of every loss that has occurred throughout the entire duration of the game. So now we place our one unit bet here or what could be a two unit bet, honestly, because as you can see here, if we were to add these up, we get 28, 28 plus nine, that's 37. So a $1 house bet where we would win $35 no longer covers all the bets in the registry. So we would up that to $2 there. So now because of that, we can look to place our bets on opposites. So we have nine plus 18, that's 27. I'm gonna put a $27 bet on red on black, sorry, because we're going with opposites. That was careful. You gotta watch these things. So 25, 26, 27, $2 house vidge bet, and we'll go with this. So cross our fingers. Ah, unfortunately we don't. We're just not getting lucky today, but that's okay. This will let me show you how this strategy works and how you can manage to have a few losses, but then manage to recoup it all because of this, this bet registry system. So we've lost that one, swap back to imaginary bets, place a $2 house vidge bet because if we hit a zero at any point, that offsets all of our losses automatically. We're going opposite, looking for an imaginary bet on black. We're gonna keep going. Come on, give us a black. There we go, there's our black. We don't win that house vidge bet, so we're gonna add it to this. I'm gonna turn this 11 into a, no turn this nine into an 11, sorry. Place another $2 house vidge bet, 
adding the 17 and the 11, so the first and last two numbers, that gives us 28. So we're betting opposite, so I'm gonna place a $28 bet on red. So here we go. This is, this is really gonna be the decider because we're down to the last few dollars of our bankroll here. Boom, there we go, okay. So now what we can do is we can actually remove this 17 and this 11. So we did lose $2 on that house vidge bet, so I'm gonna chuck $2 there just to make sure that we're keeping track of that loss even though we got the win. And now we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna place another $2 bet on the house vidge because this is still above 35. And then we combine these two to get a total of 22. We're betting opposite, so I'm gonna place a 22 unit on black. And cross our fingers, and if we're lucky, we'll get this a second time in a row. There we go, there we go. Okay, so now we cross out these two numbers and we are just left with the 18. Because we have to include that two from the house vidge, I'm gonna turn that into a 20. So that's the, that's the limit of my bet registry. Now I only need to place a one unit house vidge bet because you can see this is below 35. If we hit a zero, we automatically recover all our losses. We then bet opposite once again, so I place a 20 unit bet on red, cross our fingers, and if we're lucky, this will wipe out our entire list. It didn't. So we go back, we add 10. We could add 20, 20, or 10 and 10, which is probably what I'm gonna do, so I'm avoiding betting 20 on the next spin. We're gonna place our $1 house vidge bet in there because that way we're keeping track of it. Put another $1 house vidge bet down. Look, we're gonna be betting on the same imaginary bet on black. We're watching the black. We'll see if it comes up and we can continue betting. It doesn't. Okay, so now we swap to opposites. We're gonna chase, put our $1 bet back down there. Whoops, $1 bet there. Did I place a $10? I hope I didn't place a $10 vidge bet. I hope I didn't. So we place uh, another one there, another 31. So we're not gonna, we're going opposite. So we're looking for a black again. Cross our fingers. Didn't get a black, that's okay. We're gonna go with opposite again. We write down our one. So I'm gonna turn this into a 12. And now we're looking for opposite, so we're looking for a black. For the last time, if we lose this, we're gonna stop. We're gonna swap back to same. We get a red, so we're gonna swap back to same. We put our $1 house vidge down, upgrade this to a two, and now we're looking for the same, so we're looking for a red. We're gonna keep doing this. If we hit a red, then we can start. There we go, there's our red, so we're gonna note this down. So we have 13, so the, our two numbers outside are 20 and 12, so that's 32 total. So that's above, so I'm gonna place a $2 house vidge bet as well as the $32 bet on the same, which is the red. So one, two, three, one, two. Come on, baby, don't let me down. Don't let me down. Boom, there we go, that's what we needed. Okay, so now we can delete these two. We can chuck our $2 bet that we just lost because of our house vidge there on 15. So we place two, we're gonna place a $15 bet on same. If we're lucky, we'll manage to clear our list here. Come on. Boom, there we go. There we go. So we lost the $1 house vidge bet, but you can see here, now we've managed to wipe out our list completely and we've actually earned a dollar on top of whatever our whatever our base unit bet was. So that's a complete game. Now that we've completed that, we can aim to do that four or five more times. If you're lucky, generally there's a 50-50% chance that you'll win your game straight off the first bat and you won't actually have to go through this whole process. But with enough of a bankroll, you can kind of make sure that you're eventually gonna clear off this list and hopefully walk away a winner. Well, that's all that I've got for you guys today. But before I leave you, I do want to give a huge shout out to Daniel who sent me a message on the Facebook page and actually did this beautiful piece of fan art. If you guys have anything that you've made for the channel, please send it in to me. I'd be more than happy to have a look at it. If you guys have got a strategy for me to test, make sure you leave it in the comments down below. And if I read it, I'll give it a go. And if it works well, I might even make a video on it. Other than that, I want to apologize for my lackluster upload schedule as of recently. I've been really crook. You can probably hear it in my voice still. I'm just managing to get over it now. That and university has been absolutely ridiculous these last couple of weeks. So hopefully once I get that back under control, then I'll be able to make some more video for you guys and actually get in there a little bit more. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys get lucky out there. If you do test it out and you do manage to win big, let me know in the comments below. Cheers, guys.